Alright. Round one. Wow, this looks to be a lame fight. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't seem to want to get up. Alright, there we go. Oh, come on. No robots match for the power of panty flashing. What are you talking about? Kasumi's not fighting. Mm. Oh. I really don't... I still don't like the fact that they kind of scaled her down. Leave to you to actually bring up obscure facts about Sailor Moon. It's not an obscure fact. Anyone who's seen the show knows that Ju Sailor Jupiter is considerably bigger than the than her counterparts. And how many sane people would know that? Kirk, even if you looked at promotional art, you would know she was bigger. Oh, maybe he didn't put up much of a fight. Mm, he is a, about a three-foot-tall robot. What do you expect? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. This totally looks like an ass whooping. I'd say that's an understatement. Metapes obviously has your upper hand. Alright, that was... Disappointing. Yeah, alright. Let's move from one disappointment to another. Hamtaro versus Shumagorath. That's just not right. Okay, Fuzzball, do your stuff. You cannot defeat Sauron. How is Shuma losing? Mean little hamster. I mean, in the distant past, Hamtaro was kind of popular. Oh, finally, fighting back. Oh, wow, I could do better than these guys. And that was Ponage. Jibbo power friendship forever! I'm not the person who finds him Hamtaro incredibly cheap. I've seen worse. Oh. I have seen Space Godzilla, so... And it's the hand Where did he laser. pack a where did he was packing a laser? I don't even remember that from the show. I don't either. Now that's a remove I recognize. Hmm, maybe this one will actually last for more than two minutes. What on earth did he do to Shuma Gorath? He like pulled an alien on. Your dog's panting is getting rather annoying. Really? A that flawless victory. How is that flawless? And Tardin was a single one. Alright, uh, let's see. How about we go for... Oh, of course, we need to get Bloodbane through in one of these matches. Fine, let's pit him against... Axel will probably be good. Oh, I'm pretty sure Axel's gonna win. Mm. I am Peter, hear me roar. Oh! Ouch, that had to hurt. Now, I want to know who programmed Axel. He seems a tad bit overpowered. I'm going to place my bets on Konami.
Super finisher. Oh. And now I summon the powers of darkness down upon thee. It's not darkness, it's gravity. You know, the funny thing about a super finishing, though, is I thought it was supposed to finish them off. Ordinarily, yeah, but there are some people who just won't go down. Well, this makes twice. Don't you think it's a little bit overkill for a possum? Oh, possum, Kirk. <coughs> oh, possum. A possum. Oh, possum. There's no such thing as a mammal that starts with the letter O. It has to be a possum. Oh. oh my gosh. That is brutal. And that's from a kid's game, right? Well, he's certainly not uh, giving him any time to rest. the computers actually are. Uh, yeah, too bad this guy doesn't have a death animation until he actually goes down twice. Yeah, but it's one heck of a death animation. It's not like that one character that sits there fights like a RPG boss. That was lame. Yes, yes it was. Oh. Wow. I'm safe to say Axel acquiesced himself fairly well. And here I was wondering whether he'd be useful. Come on, use your super finishing. Here it comes, the big bum. No, saying is he's from a fancy game, be probably something called like Demi or something. Ah, Don Boyeski, the mad bummer! <laughs> what the heck is Axel doing? That is a crazy weird glitch. Yeah, it is. I think your game broke, dude. Oh, well, it seems we can obviously tell that Bloodbane was going to lose. Let's go on to the next fight. All right, we got room for one more. Let's do it. Ranma versus the Xenomorph. Which one? Like a Xenomorph Xenomorph. But they're both Xenomorphs. Fine. Ranma versus Xenomorph Warrior. Yeah, this one better hurry, though. We got roughly two minutes. Of course, I'd be rooting more for Alien Queen. She'd get the match finished. 